So hi guys, welcome back to our channel and today I'm going to share a haul with you. Uh, some things that I picked up for around the house and some things that I uh, that I want to just change around and revamp. Um, I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible and get through this. And I went to Home Goods, Ross, Marshalls, Home Depot, and Walmart. Um, quite a few pieces but I'll try to move through as fast as I can and not ramble too much so we'll go ahead and get started let's get to it so the first item that I have is this container um, well it's canister actually and it's $3.99 I bought two of these and this one came from Ross and then I bought this smaller one and this one is two forty nine. dollars and this one also came from Ross. Ross, and um, they only had one of these, which I was a little disappointed. But we'll see what we can fit in there. I'm going to be redoing my uh, pantry, so I'm trying to switch out the containers that I have where I'm storing food because I had the Dollar Tree plastic containers, and it was like stuff wasn't sticking, and I was, you know, using the permanent marker to write on the thing, and it just looked sloppy and. I couldn't really see inside them because they're like frosted kind of like so I just like wanted to change it out and so here's another one this is the taller one so you can see it's two different sizes and then of course the baby one. Oh. then I also got this <coughs> excuse me guys and this was $3.99 this is always also from Ross and I got five of these. I saw these at Walmart and they were like, I think five bucks or something like that. And that was under six, but it was more than what I paid from Ross. And I got six, five of these. Then I got two of these. It has a gold pineapple one and a gold accent. Um, these were from, I think Home Goods. I got these from Home Goods and this was. $4.99. I've never seen a label like that from Home Goods without the Home Goods on there. So, yeah, and these were $4.99, and I got two of these. And then also, I picked up this one from Home Goods, and this one was $5.99. I also had uh, bought another one uh, prior before, and um, it was on clearance at Ross for. Three forty nine, something like that but they only had one so when I saw this one I just said you know what I'm gonna go ahead and get it and since I got the other one on clearance you know it is just balanced out for me and um, one of them I have my uh, sugar in so I'm probably going to I don't know I use cane sugar so I don't know this may be brown sugar I'm not sure yet what's gonna go in there um, then I also picked up this from Ross this was on clearance for $349. It's 120 tea bags um, in here. And it's by Bentley and it has raspberry, English breakfast, peach, green tea, orange spice, and earl grey. I bought two of these. Um, my daughter's birthday is uh, just passed and we're doing a tea party on Saturday. So I got this tea plus I like to drink tea. So we have that. Then I also got I picked up some spray paint where I live in Chicago in the city of Chicago you can't buy spray paint so you have to go out to the suburbs in order to buy it so I um I don't get out that way that often so you know I try to get as much as I can when I'm out there because like I said you can't buy it in the city so this is black and this is paint and primer in one and the reason that I bought I bought three of these and I bought these because I'm going to paint my uh, furniture my dining set my coffee table and my uh, side tables and but the particular I bought the spray paint in particular because the chairs have like a woven uh, wood in it and I thought that this would be great to spray paint in there so I can get into all those little grooves and I also picked up white and this also has paint and primer in it bright white bright white and it's a satin indoor outdoor it says it dries in 10 minutes and you can turn it to spray in any direction and it covers wood metal plastic 
and more. Then I also picked up, okay, that's black. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Then I also picked up this garlic press. I think I got this from Aldi's actually, and it was um, I think a dollar fifty something like that. And I just needed something like this. I usually buy like the jar minced garlic, but I would really prefer to use um, the fresh garlic. So I got I went ahead and got this one. Um, then also from Aldi's. I know I didn't say Aldi's on the intro but I also got these bins from Aldi's and I think these were five dollars and they are metal and I'm going to actually put these in my um, pantry as well I probably will go back and get a few more of the Aldi's that I went to they had this in black and like a silver pewter silver I don't know it wasn't uh, I don't know brush metal I'm, I'm not sure but a silvery color and then I also picked up uh, this from Ross you can see that and this is $12.99 and this is a uh, this has the drawer system and the reason that I got this is so that in my pantry I could put my uh, potatoes and onions and things like that and I bought two of these so when I revamp the pantry that will go inside then I also picked up my fabuloso from the home depot um i first saw this particular one the fabuloso with bleach alternative in it at the dollar tree now ever since i've seen this and bought whatever i could buy that at that particular time i have not seen this since at the dollar tree so i don't know if uh this particular one at the dollar tree so i don't know if um they're not carrying it or it was a one-time thing or something i don't know so when I saw these at a uh, Home Depot, I went ahead and grabbed two of these plus the lavender one. Then also I picked up this from Ross, $9.99. It was $9.99. There's three pieces in here. I needed something for my makeup and my daughter needed one for her purse. So I just figured this was, was a good buy. And... Um, she also has like a little uh, hygiene kit that she uh, will put in her bag. So this works out very well. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Then I picked up some washcloths. This is a set of six from Home Goods for $5.99. Um, I don't buy white uh, towels, that is, because you have kids and... I live in the city. I don't have a washer and dryer, so I have to go to the laundromat, and I can't control, uh, have as much control. When I had a washer and dryer, I used a lot of white, so, but they don't wash as well, the industrial type machines at the laundromat, so I'm not going white. So Then I also got uh, this soap. Well, came out of the box anyway. But this soap I got, I love this soap. Um, it's a milk soap, and it's called, it's by Scottish Fine Soaps. Scottish Fine Soaps is all all lit. Uh, so it's milk, and it's a really big bar. You see how big that is? And it's four bucks. They're three ninety nine. So I bought like five of these. So anytime I see these, I try to buy them. I went on Amazon. And I think Walmart sells it too, only online. But this bar of soap online is like, I think six bucks or seven bucks or something like that for the bar of soap. So this is a great deal. So anytime I see it, I'll try to, you know, uh, rack up as much as I can. I also got this one. Uh, this is a milk soap too. And this is milk and honey. So, uh, and this was $3.99. So, we'll see how this one goes. I've never tried this one before. So, we'll see how this one works out as well. And like I said, $3.99. And I bought two of those. And then I got, um, these are mini lights. And I got these for uh, Zayda's room because she had been watching a lot of YouTube videos. And she was seeing a lot of the young ladies 
putting, uh, hanging, the streaming the lights, you know, in their bedrooms and stuff. So she wanted to do something like that. I think these were like four bucks at home, or uh, Walmart. So these came from Walmart, and I think they were like four dollars, or maybe even less than four dollars. But they came out of the wedding section because you know, it's not Christmas time anymore. So, so then, get rid of that. So then I picked up. Also, I picked up this one. This is the hand wash and I'm probably going to put this in my kitchen um uh, and it smells just like the bar soap too and this is a a milk hand wash as well so I'll probably um put this in the kitchen then I bought this finishing paste I got this from Home Depot I think it was like eight bucks it's in a natural um tone so I can put it over like any finish so once I paint uh, my tables and everything, I'm going to finish up with this um, just so it can seal the paint in. I also picked up this little thing here. It's a creamer. And this was $1.99 at Marshall's. I have a um, the other piece to this. The shape is really similar. It has a lid on it and it's for sugar. So this is for the tea party, but of course also we'll use it you know, after. So then I also bought this piece, and this is one of my favorite pieces that I came across. And I am so in love with this thing, I don't even know what to do. So, it's a coat rack, and it says Made in India. This was from Home Goods, and it was $16.99, and this thing is so heavy, you guys. And I'm probably going to end up putting this in my bathroom over the door because the one that I have now, it's like a over the door kind of hook thing. So that way it'll free up the, the, the mechanism of the door as far as closing and opening. So I also picked up about 10 of these. I got these from Home Depot and they're nine inch uh, legs. And I was going to uh, get these, some of these from uh, Ikea. Ikea has some legs that are already black. I'm going to paint these black. Some legs that are already black. And it's like four in a pack for 30 bucks. So these were under $4. So I bought two, I bought 10 of them. So I bought some, I'm going to do two projects. So there was a, a sofa at the end of my bed that I moved to my dining room table to have like a little seating nook. And then um, I'm going to do another project in my bedroom with these legs. So even if um, at the price that these were at Home Depot, even buying two sets is uh, was less than buying them from Ikea. Uh, JoJo's joined me. So then I also got um, this one. This is from the uh, soap company as well. And this is the body butter. And this one is $5.99. It says compare $10. So I think it is around $10 if you go online or Amazon or either Walmart. Um, let's see what the soap says. It says compare at $7. So yes, like I said, yeah, around 7 bucks online. So then... Also pick up a jigsaw. I had a few projects that was going on that I could not finish because I needed the jigsaw to cut some things. So I picked this up. I think this was like twenty dollars or something like that. Eighteen dollars, something like that. And I picked this up from. It was in Home Depot. I think I picked this up from Walmart. Yeah, I got this one from Walmart. So we'll see how this goes. And, I th and it was under 20 bucks. So I don't think I need to spend a whole lot of money on those type, of those type of tools because I don't do projects that I don't use it as much as a person that, you know, the carpenter or something like that. So that should be okay then I also picked up these I'm redoing some things so 
all my colors are turning into black, white, and gold. So I picked these up. I picked two of these up. These were $10. And I got these from... Where is it? From Home Goods. So I picked two of these up. And these are going to go into my kitchen. And I don't know if it's reading very well. But that accent color is uh, gold. And it's kind of etched on the glass. But it also has like a... Um, shadow box kind of effect to it so i got two of these to go into my kitchen and then i also picked up some gold spray paint and this is metallic um bright gold and it also bonds to plastic it says two times ultra coverage i think i've bought this one before i bought um this particular one and then I bought another one which is this one the metallic finish rich shiny finish fast drying uh, bright coat so I know that they look the same but pro I promise you when they come out of the can they are two different goals um, that's the only way I can put it there are two different goals one is lighter and one is more yellow if that makes sense a more goldy gold i guess and this one of them is lighter i couldn't remember which one was which so i just bought both of them um then i also picked up just some paint brushes and some uh sandpaper so i can sand down the tables then I picked up some um, drill bits. I just bought a little kit. I think this is like five bucks. And there are seven pieces. And there's seven pieces in here. Two, four, six. Yeah, there's seven pieces, including a little case that comes with it. So I got that. So that can go towards my project. And then I picked up this polyacrylic uh, protective finish. Not sure which one I'm going to use as far as use as far as the wax or this one. Um I'm probably leaning more towards the wax because I'm concerned with the fumes with this one. So this was eight bucks and I got this one from um, Walmart. So if that doesn't work out, that's probably gonna go back to the store. Then I also picked up this piece. I hope I didn't break that. I thought this was the cutest thing. For my kitchen it's the uh, spoon rest and this was $3.99 and it's an owl and um, I have a lot of owl pieces around and I just thought like oh my god this is exactly what I want so and it's in the color that I want and like I said that was $3.99 that came from home goods then I also picked up this piece for my uh, utensil. So this is $7.99 and I got this and it's white and it's cracked. Um, proper. Yeah, it's cracked. So, I don't know. We'll see. I probably can fix it. And it's been some days. So. Then I also picked up these. Um, just trying to try something new. Let's see if I can get this off. <laughs> okay. So I picked these up. And it was two in a pack for ten bucks. So I just got these because of, really because of the gold. And so that it could go with the things in my kitchen. And I got this color. And then I also got black. So I thought this would work in my uh, kitchen. And the other mugs that I have in my kitchen are just all white. So. Oops. 
and that was it. They had another white one, but the metal on it, the gold on it, looked kind of faded, so I didn't buy it. Um, then I also picked up some essential oils. This was $7.99, and this is Passion, Clarify, and Invigorate. Invigorate. So, Invigorate is cedarwood, juniper berry, and rosemary mixture. Uh, the Passion is jasmine, rose, flower, and sandalwood. And the Clarify is rosemary, peppermint, and clear sage. So, I'll probably use these um, just to make some um, my own DIY uh, air freshener and stuff to spray around the house. And also probably, you know, like uh, I have like vinegar and water solution sometimes that I use. So maybe I'll probably mix a little bit of that in there. And then I also have my sander. It's an Orbit sander. And I think this one was maybe 18 or 13. I think this was 13 at Walmart. I want to say around 13, 13, between 13 and 15 dollars. Um... Then, I picked up some, like I said, no more white. <laughs> so, I picked up these towels from Walmart. And they're the Better Homes and Garden. And they're really thick. And I picked up three or four of these. I forgot the price on these. Um, I think they were like five bucks or something like that. I can't remember. But these are... Extra, it says 100% cotton, extra absorbent bath towels, 30 by 54. So, like the standard bath towel. And then, um, so I bought four of those. Then I also picked up these. These are the Walmart, no, yeah, the mainstay. And these are... It says fade resistance stays stays color color stays true wash after wash absorbent and low linting. So we'll see how these work. Um hundred percent cotton and this is called rich black. So we'll see if it fades, you know. I know a lot of people say that they don't like to buy these colors and things like that because they worry about fading, but we'll see. I'll you know let you guys know like after a couple of washes what happens there. And then I just picked up a black rug. I have one already, but the other black one that I have, it's like that memory foam type rug. And what I found is that underneath that rug, even though it's soft to touch when you get out of the shower, the water kind of sits on the floor under that rug. So I wanted to get rid of that. I guess I could lift it up every day or whatever, but I just really wanted to get rid of that. And um, just go with, you know, trust your rubber bottom rug and be done with it. So, guys, that's it for um, my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, please come back and uh, watch more videos. And I'll try to uh, upload as much as possible. I'm still working on which days um, that I will be uploading on a regular basis. So, uh like the channel, subscribe, you know, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If I uh, didn't tell you where something came from or whatever, just, you know, leave a comment below and I'll try to get the information to you of where it came from and how much it was. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, without further ado, I'm going to end this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks and bye and have a great day. Bye.